So this is a soft shackle, uh, it just works, you, you put the uh, knot through there and then milk the cord around and you've got uh, a shackle and then you can just pull that to open it up. So it's quite a neat little thing. So when you're making one, the, I think you know, the key thing here is not, you need to leave yourself long working ends um, because this knot uses up quite a lot of rope. So. Uh, let's say, I mean, that's about um, five inches. I need cord another to say 10 inches, two, two working ends about 10 inches longer than the, 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 the sort of buried section here. Um, and that's the only real trick to it. So let's get a, get a nice long length here. Um, use about that much. I'm just gonna make quite a small shackle with this. Cut the am steel. Same again, I'm going to taper this and uh, put a bit of sour tape on. So just let me do that. Okay, so I've got my, uh, my, my length here. Both ends have been tapered and I've got uh, sellotape tape on them just to smooth the progress. And now what I want to do is bury one length inside the other. And because the length, the outer sheath, is going to be um, shortened by that process, I'm just going to make have a difference here of about an inch um, to find the bed, where the bend should be there. So it's going to be there, and the shorter one, i.e. this one, I'm going to bury into the longer one here. So now, same again, all you have to do is open up the am steel. Again, carefully, carefully, you don't want to catch any threads. Like so. And then you bury it, and the, uh, the the distance that you bury is going to determine how how big your shackle is going to be. So, you know, it's really up to you. Let's say just leave yourself long, um, you know, uh, working ends at the end so that you can tie the knot, which uses up quite a lot of rope. So now we're just going to push that in, and I'm going to feed that feed that through, just milking it on like that. Okay, so I buried um, about that distance. So you know my shackle's going to be sort of around around that size, which is fine. I mean, I, I don't actually need the shackle. I'm just doing it to show you. Now I want to put something in this loop because I'm going to um, take the end out of the am steel and pull it uh, pull it taut. So I'm just going to open that up a little bit. So, right, and out it comes, sort of, <laughs> okay, there we go. So I've got my pen in there, and we can just pull that tight, like that. Now, what I'm going to do, um, is I, I want to kind of lock this in place. So I'm going to take the cord that is forming uh, the outer sheath, like this one, and pass it through the, uh, the, the, the rope that I've, has, has just emerged, that's just come out of the berry. So we just open it up. It's all the same technique. Whoopie slings, soft shackles, eye splices, it's all kind of using the same sort of techniques here. So I've made a hole through the rope. I'm just gonna uh, widen that a little bit with my pen. Whoops. Uh, I can't focus it back. So there's my hole. And now I'm just gonna take that uh, outer sheath rope and pass it through. Like so uh, now you see I've caught a thread there. So I'm just going to open it up again. Um, what shall I do? This one is going through there. Like so. Get away. Right. And that's going to kind of lock it. Okay, so I've got my uh, two working ends here. And now what I need is a knot here. And I, you know, I could, you, you could just, you know, tie a figure of eight knot or something like that. That, that would work. But there's a nice knot called a lanyard hitch, 
which you know looks very neat and is, is probably a better one to use. So what you do is you form a loop like that, uh, push uh, uh, with the other working end, push a loop through that loop, or bite through that loop rather, um, and then follow the working end over the main stem of the shackle, under the other working end, up and down through it, the, its own loop, and then tighten this up. And what I do, I do this with um, again with some different coloured ropes, you know, and uh, you know it should be a bit easier to see. I'll just tighten that up a little bit, like so, and you can see I've got a, a, a hole here and a hole through the centre of the knot. Now I want my working ends going anti-clockwise, and I'm just going to take one working end, come round this foot of the this sort of V bit here, and up through the centre, like that. And I'm going to do the same with the other one, so going anti-clockwise, round the, the stem of the, v, the leg of the V, and up through the same hole that you know the, the other working end just came through, and then you can just tighten that all up, and that's your knot. Okay, just do that again using different coloured uh, ropes. So you form a loop, this bit goes on top, push a loop through, like so. Take that working end, go over the main, you know, the two ropes, under the single rope, back through it, the loop it made, like that. That's your first stage, and then we're just going to tighten that up a bit. And what you see here is I've got a gap there where I've got my finger through and another hole in the knot of, uh, here. And those are what we're going to use next because what we're going to do now is we're going to go with each working end going anti-clockwise. I'm going to take this working end, go over that leg of the rope there, like that, and then up through the centre of the knot. Like so. I'm going to do the same thing with the other working end. Here's the other working end. There's the gap. I'm going to go over this leg here. And I'm going to come up through the centre of the knot again, following the path of the first rope. And that's basically it. Okay, so I've tightened it up. And that's the finished knot. Okay, so I've got a knot here, I want to put my drawstring in there, so I'm going to pull the sheath back pretty much as far as it will go, uh, open up the inner uh, cord of, of um, Amsteel, like so, widen the hole a little bit with my pen, push the Dyneema yellow cord through that, stick it up a little bit, run the sheath back and we're pretty much done so I'm just tying an overhand knot in there which will be perfectly adequate right so that's that end finished so now all I need to do is tidy up these loose ends um, you know my, I've tightened up the knot a little bit uh, that's fine that's done now what's nice is to, to, if you want a nice tidy end with Amsteel, is to feed it back on itself. So feed this rope into itself and you get like a nice sort of, um, you know, finish to, to the ends there. And, and leave about an inch and a half so that this knot, you know, this knot's going to tighten up over time. So I'll just do that. All I'm going to do, make a bend like that, uh, open up the Amsteel, um, the core of the Amsteel. It's all the same, uh, and then feed this end in, in through the hole. So I'll just do that quickly. Okay, so I've tidied up these two ends by feeding them back on themselves, and you know that is basically finished. Um, you know that you know, it's it's gonna uh, it's gonna hold to open it. You pull that to open the loop, and there you go. Soft shackle, dead easy to make.